Okay, so Apple released yet another beta for iOS 15.6. Today releasing iOS 15.6 developer beta 5. And I know not many users are really tracking iOS 15 as of now, but this software is actually very, very important for many users. And in this video, I wanted to cover what's new, what's coming with iOS 15.6, as I feel like this could be the final beta before the gold master or release candidate, the RC. And uh, I wanna talk about everything we can expect, expected release, Dates, new features within the software. I haven't really been covering 15.6 due to the fact that Apple is running another beta. As we know, iOS 16 beta 2 is now available. We're waiting for the public beta on that. But let's go ahead and focus on iOS 15.6, some of the latest new features that are coming to the iPhone and why this is so important for so many users. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the features coming to iOS 15.6, and there isn't a whole lot to talk about. Number one, there is something new within the wallet. You can now request and send money via Apple Cash. You can request those directly within the cash settings in your wallet. As you can see right there, that's something new with 15.6. Now, Apple has also addressed a few issues with automations for the home applications. So when you arrive or leave your home, some of the automations will trigger accidentally if you didn't really leave. So some bugs have been fixed here as well. And also within the podcast application, if we go to the podcast extension here in settings, Apple has now added a new option here that allows you to actually control how many episodes actually get downloaded to your device. I don't know if this was a problem for you, but it was for me. The podcast application would just download every single episode for every single podcast I subscribe to. Now you have full control of which podcasts uh, do get downloaded and when they do get deleted automatically so yeah this is something that many users want because it was taking up a lot of storage on many iPhone users and devices. And now with iOS 15.6, we know that Apple continues to improve and fix bugs and all that good stuff. But the reason this software is so important is as we know, iOS 16 does not support these devices here. So the iPhone SE first generation, this will most likely be the last major update for this device, okay? Now Apple could release other minor security patches for iOS 15 for older devices, but in terms of major new New features and changes I don't think anything else will be happening 15.6 should be it so the last major update for the iPhone SE will most likely be iOS 15.6 so Apple continues to work on this software and they want to make it as best as possible obviously for these uh, iPhone users with SE first generation iPhone 6s and 6s plus of course do not support iOS 16 so these devices will also most likely be the final release for those devices and iPhone 7 and 7 plus owners which are very upset that they did not get support for iOS 16 iOS 15.6 will most likely be the last major update so Apple needs to make this one count add as many new features and changes and improvements as possible as we shift our attention over to iOS 16 here in the next couple of months now with that being said expected release dates for iOS 15.6 I'm expecting this software to be available to the general public within the next week or so we could see the RC or release candidate here in the next couple of days with a release for iOS 15.6 next week at the latest, the week of the 18th at the latest, I believe. Apple is now pretty much wrapping this up. If we take a look here at the latest bill number for this one, this tells us a whole lot. There's an A towards the end of the bill number, which usually signifies that we're really close to the official final release, or at least the RC release candidate here. So expect an RC here shortly. I don't think there's gonna to be too many more betas here for this software. I'm thinking this is the final beta before moving forward with the release candidate and release here in the next week or two for iOS 15.6, which could mean the end for updates on these devices as well. And that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.